When working with imported geometry with no design history or if you just need to make a few small changes to complex parts that have a high percentage of feature interdependencies, then direct modeling inside of Autodesk Inventor provides the right set of tools for making edits fast. Let's take a look at a few examples. When you import a file that was not created natively inside of Inventor, you have no history, no dimensions, and no parameters to edit. But there are situations where you may need to make a slight or significant adjustment to the model. This is where direct modeling can help. Just select the face you want to move, rotate, resize, scale, or delete, and use the drag handles or the dynamic input to put in the precise value and make the change, regardless of how complex the geometry is. While product configurators and rules-driven design are the ideal situation for generating custom designs for a quote, not every scenario can always be imagined or hard-coded. Using direct modeling, even team members with little CAD experience can quickly edit and add features to get the right design for your customers without having to rely completely on engineering. And the same goes for quick changes between simulation iterations. The goal is to get the best design as quickly as possible, and navigating long history trees created by other engineers to find the features and dimensions you want to change adds unnecessary time and complexity to the process. Simply make the change you want with the direct modeling toolset, remesh the part, and move forward with the next analysis. And when time is critical, direct modeling in Autodesk Inventor provides you with an additional option for making fast, simple changes without the hassle of dealing with history or parameters.